talk about the strategy process. We've talked in, in other videos about strategic planning and the order of things and the elements that make it up, but I think we very rarely talk about the strategy as a process because I think we think about strategy as a bit of an event or a task to be achieved and really it should be a more organic process that we follow to ensure that our strategy not only is developed but is implemented and is refined as we go. So to give you some sort of insight into how that works, we've got kind of four key areas here that um, maybe some of these might be surprising. I think the development of strategy is, is fairly familiar to people, but there's also the need to build engagement around any strategy before we engage on it. There's a need to implement um, and align people to our strategy, and um, we need to think about all four of those things in order, and then think about how they loop back on each other on an ongoing basis, and maybe probably for most people, it's probably a 12-month cycle. Beyond that, though, there are some, some key component parts. And I just wanted to sort of share those with you to give you some added insight into what you can be thinking about. So I think if we start with development, just because I think that's what most people are familiar with, there's obviously always the need to, to build and develop a strategy from the offset or, you know, if we do rebuild if we're kind of on an ongoing journey. But I think what people try and do is try and do that in one sitting. And I think over the years what we've learned is, is yes, you do need to bring people together to build strategy, but actually there needs to be a period of percolation before you set on a final um, course that you're going to follow. So what, that, what, what might that look like for you? It might mean yeah, yeah, you have a traditional strategy day, but I think then you need to give people time and space to go away and reflect on the things you talk about, you discuss and you agree. So you can come back having thought through that and given people that are maybe more deep in their thinking the opportunity then to sort of challenge what you initially came up with before you refine and set what you're going to do. So that percolation part in there for me is really, really critical. What we'd also recommend you do though as well is on the engagement part is really think about who are going to be the stakeholders that are going to be involved in building this strategy with me as a leader and actually how do I really get out of them how they feel about where we are and where we're going and what they want to achieve from a strategy process before you get into that, that build stage because I see very often in strategy days they become hijacked with all those agendas coming out because they've not been discussed beforehand. So you know, think about how you, you, you talk to and you engage those stakeholders and flush out anything that might hijack the process um, and actually maybe use them to agree the scope on how you're actually going to go forward and develop it um, in, into that stage we just talked about in terms of development. Once we build a strategy, I think for what I see in most organisations is we're, you know, we, we, we'll build a strategy but we're really, really poor at aligning our business to it and then we wonder why our people don't really buy into it and don't do the things we want them to do. So implementation for us, we call it Basecamp, um, we have a process for that but you know, what is your, you know, if you imagine that your strategy is about how do we get to our top of our Everest, you know, what is your base camp position where you bring all your, at, very, at the very least your senior leadership team together or senior management team together, it will just depend on the scale of your business, maybe your whole business together to actually ensure that they all understand the strategy, that they align to it, that they want to go on it, that they have some input into it, that you, you essentially hand over ownership of it to them and they start to think about how they're then going to go back and actually implement and make it happen. So that alignment piece is critical and then obviously that then hopefully will lead into the implementation part. But you do again need to think about how we're going to get momentum and ensure that our people are really driving through the strategy and following the plan that we've set for them. Um, and then also obviously thinking about a period, how do we stop and reset um, and refine if we need to. You know that may be a 12 month review, it may be in the modern world saying you know, maybe we have a quarterly check in just to make sure the world's not shifting too quickly. Um, but I think that kind of reset, reset part is really, really critical and it may not require you to go all the way back to the beginning but probably periodically it, it, it does and then you go through it again. So hopefully that gives you a way to think about strategy as more of an embedded process in your organisation. You need to think about the whole engagement of the people involved. Yes, you need to build strategy but you also need to align your people to it so they then go and implement it for you. That's the strategy process.